Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. So, I was thinking about going out and buying the Alto Evo. I love the Anafi, but for some reason I feel like I'm missing out on something. I've never owned an Alto drone. Um, I've heard great things about their cameras, um, but I wanted to build my own opinion and I felt really like I was missing out on something because there are a lot of guys, a lot of YouTubers out there who do drone reviews and they talk about how much they like the Altel Evo. Watch some other drone reviewers and I see them with a lineup of drones behind them and they talk about using the Altel Evo for a lot of the, uh, I guess, shoots that they do. I was gonna go out to Best Buy and buy one. And Altel, at least for me, has been doing a lot of advertising on my phone. Um, maybe because I'm searching so much for it, I'm finding advertising on Facebook, I'm finding the advertisement, you know, when I'm going through Google pages, Altel Evo pops up. And they've been pushing really hard for you to come out and buy one of these things. Now, um, when we talk about drones, the Alto Evo is not, not the latest, greatest, especially when we're comparing it to the new Mavic 2s. I went back and bought the pair of Anafi, and I'm really loving the pair of Anafi for the features that it has, for the way that I use it, and the cost of it. The Alto Evo, for me, is probably like a step up from that. Um, while the pair of Anafi has great features, I do want a little bit more control, and I've gotten so spoiled with obstacle avoidance, um, it made me think maybe I want to go up a little bit higher. So I thought about going out to Best Buy and buying one of these things, and like I said, they've been pushing really hard for you to come get one. I know around, I don't know, around July 4th, they had a deal where you would get a free Fly More package. Fly More meaning two batteries, a bag, and, and I think some extra propellers for the cost of the normal Altel Evo, which was about $1,000. I let that one pass because I wasn't really sure whether or not I wanted to go get one. And now they're offering another deal where they're offering you for the same $1,000, you get an additional battery and a multi-charging hub. Watching some videos I've actually seen um, on Original Dobo, the Original Dobo, if you, you can go look him up. He had a video about the new Altel trade-up program. I've never seen a trade-up program with any other drone manufacturer. I thought it was unique. Um, I've only seen a trade-up program with the, uh, with the GoPro cameras where if you wanted to trade in like uh, maybe a different camera, like um, even a 10-year-old digital camera that you used for blogging or whatever 10 years ago, they would give you $100 toward the latest, greatest GoPro. So I headed over to the Altel website and I was kind of interested in what I found. So we're going to walk through that right now and, and let you see what you get if you wanted to trade in for me, my situation, my case, and Anafi, but some other different drones. So right now I'm already on the uh, Altel Robotics webpage. Let me make sure I'm still recording here. Um, and you can probably get to this from the home page, but uh, I searched Altel Evo, so it took me right to that main page. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom on any page, you should come across a black section that has you know, usually terms, conditions, frequently asked questions, customer service, stuff like that. And on the left side, you see shop, and at the bottom of that category, you see the trade-in program. So let's click on that, and I'm gonna click on that. And we're gonna go directly to the uh, trade-in uh, program page. And we're gonna scroll down and kind of see what you're getting for trade, what you can trade in and what you can get for it. So right now, accepted models from the Unique are the Unique 4K and the, uh, I mean, actually the Typhoon 4K and the Typhoon H. Typhoon H, um, I think it's the big one with multi rotors on it, and the 4K has four blades um, or four props. Um, now those, I, you know, those are pretty dated. I think I don't, I don't remember when the actual H came out in the in the 4K. I just remember years ago, probably right after getting my fan, my first Phantom, um, I was thinking about getting a Typhoon drone. Um, in the DJI category, you're able to trade in um, a Spark, a Mavic Air. I mean, these are relatively recent drones, being that the Mavic Pro was released three years ago. And the majority of these were released after. So, um, Spark was released after uh, Mavic Pro Air, uh, Pro Platinum, uh, Mavic Pro 2. Like, you know, trading your brand new $1,200 $1, Mavic Pro 2 Zoom or $1,500 Mavic Pro, uh, Mavic 2 Pro. Um, you also have, now these might make more sense, the ability to trade in your older Phantom series, like your Phantom 3, your Phantom 4 and your Phantom 4 Vance. I'm assuming that may include the Phantom 4 Pro unless people aren't trading in Phantom 4 Pros. Um, uh, Pair Anafi, uh, Pair Anafi Extended, which is the Anafi with, I think, the uh, Flymore combo, the Bebop and the Bebop 2. Now, again, in these situations, I think the Bebop and Bebop 2 will mean maybe more um, realistic trade-ins than the Anafi and the Anafi Extended. And you're also able to turn in um, older Altel Robotics drones like the Star and the Star Premium. Um, go down a little bit further. You have conditions for grading this. Um, this is, you know, the norm when you're trading something in. How, how much damage or how bad is your product that you're trading in? And it's giving you some characteristics of whether or not, you know, what, what it would fall in in the ABC category. Terms and conditions, and then it says, let's get started. I'm not gonna put in all my information here. I'm gonna try to go through this. I think I did it once, and I had to, I was at work, so I'm gonna do this again. 
Um, my drone is great A. Um, brand new, in fact. I've only bought it a couple months ago. Almost like new, I guess that would be considered. Let's go with the make, and we're going to select uh, Parrot. And, and it says below that, if we click on the one below that, so I'm going to click on that. It says uh, select model grade A estimated values for Parrot. I'm clicking that, and I guess these are the the amounts that they would give you for your trade-in. So, toward a brand new Alto Evo, you're going to get $160 for the basic Parrot Anafi, which is the one that comes with one battery and a controller. $160 for a drone that I recently paid about $560 for. Not really a decent trade-in, in my opinion. For the extended, which I think was about a $700 purchase because you got the extra battery, it was probably $700 plus, they're going to give you $240. So it looks like they're knocking about $500 off of the drone that you may have paid um, $500 more for only a couple months ago. Um, and then, I'm sorry, I picked out the Bebop, you're going to get $8. $8 wouldn't even cover the shipping. And for the Bebop 2, you're going to get $10, which, from what I'm understanding, the Bebop 2 with the goggles and an extended long range was a decent drone. I don't know. I, I couldn't do it. So let's go back again, and let's say I had a Spark. Let's see. We're going to go with DJI. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, a Spark. Actually, with Spark, you're going to get $120. Um, with a Mavic Air, you're going to get $200. Again, about $500 off of what these drones originally cost. Uh, Mavic Pro retail right now. I know I can pick one up used off of eBay for about $700 um, Brand new. I think they were about uh, $900, $900 still they're gonna give you $260 for a Mavic Pro you would make off better by selling this on eBay and Getting you know charged the eBay listing fees and final value fees than you would trading in your drone to pair I mean to Evo for um, a new Alto um, and like I said, if we look at all of this, you just paid $1,200 for your Mavic 2 Zoom, and they're willing to give you $400 for it. I, I, I think this is ludicrous. I think this is insane. Now, again, <laughs> the logic behind the trade-in, right? So now, if you go all the way to the bottom and you see Phantom 3, Phantom 3, let's say you had a Phantom 3 standard, you're probably going to get retail value for that if you can sell it online, $300. If you give it to Altel, they'll give you $240. Now that seems like a fair trade-in. I mean, really, you, you probably get three, three, three seventy-five for it without having to go through all the hassle of, hey, you want to buy this thing? Let me pack it back, pack it up, ship it to you. You know, all of the hassle getting it to the post office. Um, three hundred dollars, three seventy-five, two forty. I think that's a good trade-in. Phantom Four. $320? No way. Phantom 4 is still a great drone, even though it's not the Phantom 4 Pro or the one in Sensor. I have seen people do amazing videos with the Phantom 4. And then your Phantom 4 Advance, 1000 I mean, I mean, I think those are still selling for about 1000 plus, and you're getting $400. Now, now it just got a little bit crazier with DJI, because now you're getting like, they're taking off like six to $800 off of, I mean, it may be a dated drone, but what you can probably sell it for online. I, I know I've seen Phantom sell online for about 700 about the same price as a map pro um, and you're getting forced so you're probably gonna lose three there So yeah, maybe maybe close but not not really in the ballpark in my opinion Let's go back. Let's look at DJI was probably the most um, Interesting one to me because I thought DJI would fetch a lot more because these are brand, like the industry standard brand new drones You're trying to get somebody to trade in um, so let's just take a look at what else you can get here Let's go. Let's go to the next model. Let's go to uh, unique if you go unique, you're going to get uh, $144 for the uh, 4K, and you're going to get uh, $260 for the H. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I, th I think I've seen the H sell for $700. So yeah, you're knocking about $500. I mean, I've seen low, maybe $700 to $800. So you're getting a little bit lowballed on that on that deal too, especially for the 4K. If, if I could fly the 4K, I would not trade it in for $144. If it was a broken 4K which I'm selecting grade A, it was a broken 4K maybe, but not for a working functional flying drone. And let's check out the last one um, for Altel Robotics because, you know, it's their stuff. Maybe they'll give you a little bit more. I don't know. Let's just check it out. Let's see what the what the survey says. For uh, an X-Star, you're going to get $100. And for an X-Star Premium, you're going to get $120. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they were only offering me those prices for a brand new Parrot drone compared to... Um, well, not a brand new Parrot drone, but a Parrot drone, a Parrot um, Anafi. 
that came out after their X-Star. So it seems like they're giving you more for their X-Star than they are for a Parrot, which came out later. So interesting, very interesting. Um, would I trade in anything for um, a, a, a brand new Evo? No, because I don't think I'm getting fair market value for it on the trade-in. Interesting. Um, I think it was a unique idea. Maybe they could probably try to draw in more, I guess, uh, customer base to Altel, but they're not offering you enough for you to, in my opinion, to take advantage or take them up on this deal. So that was it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I might still go out and buy the Altel Evo. I might go out and, um, you know, pay $199 uh, in my own pocket. And uh, if I could do it before the 27th, if I decide to do it before the 27th, I will get a free charging hub and a free battery. Um, and if I don't decide to take them up on the, 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 the promotion that they're offering right now where they're going to give me a charging hub and a battery, I'm pretty sure they're going to release that deal that they had a couple months back in July where they're going to give you the $200 Flymore package. Um, so, I mean, it might be worth me waiting to get three batteries and a bag versus a charging hub and an additional battery because I don't think those accessories are very expensive. So, hey, I'm up to 15 minutes. I just want to shoot that short video. I needed to get something up for Friday. Um, but hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll get back to you soon. I'm looking for more tech, more reviews and things to do. I'm actually going on vacation really shortly and I can't wait to use that thing. I'm probably going to use that as an exclusive vlogging camera. And um, there's some other things. Again, this is big ball vlogs, not big ball tech reviews that I've been getting into, like my, my new reef tank here. I'm going to start broadening out my content with my other hobbies and interests. So, again, thanks for supporting the channel. I'll get back to you soon with some new stuff. Um, trying to get into the ear of Xiaomi because Xiaomi is releasing so many different products. I'm impressed by the lineup of products that they have, um, even like from phones down to uh, mosquito killers. I, I, I was like very curious. I was actually interested in buying mosquito killers. I'm a, I'm a fisherman and I was like, hey, maybe I'll start doing some of this other tech stuff. So just a little bit of taste of what I'm planning on doing in the future. But I'll talk to you later. Gotta get to work. Bye.